guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, we went from combining beans on Saturday with, with a 20 foot head to combining beans today with a 35 foot head. And I think I just bounced over a groundhog hole. Anyway, hate those things. We got the big machine switched over and so we're running it now. Here's where, where it would be nice to have a draper head someday. Those are the bean heads that they got the conveyor belts in place of an auger. Oh well, one thing at a time. The beans don't seem to be too bad and this field is actually pretty sandy back right on over that way it goes right onto a sand knoll or the sand knob whatever you, whatever you want to call it I do like about this head is it's got an orbit reel and so not too sure how well you can see it on camera you should be able to but the fingers go completely around and so it lets you set the reel back a little bit closer to the auger for better and more even feeding So far though, I'm making pretty good headway. Running along almost, almost three and a half mile an hour. Not too bad. A head shatter also. I've checked the moisture on them. They're running right around uh, 10 and a half to 11. So definitely bone dry. Saturday evening dad got the tandem truck no about half full roughly 
So he brought that back here a little while ago. I topped it off. And so he's already taken that out and we got the grain cart back here. This field's about 20 acres. And so we'll wait and see. It'd be great if the grain cart does not hold it all. That'd be nice. But you get up on these old sand knobs, the beans get pretty short. If we, if we could have had nice consistent rain all summer, it would have been perfect. But toward the end of June, coming, in, coming into July, it was pretty hot and dry. Then on, on into, into July and August, we started getting, getting some rain. And that's actually why it pushed the beans about uh, two weeks later. But it did help them to add add some more growth and that kind of stuff along with additional pods so can't go wrong on that and right up there you can see on the little screen I guess you can see that. I gotta watch where I'm going also. Oh, they're coming right up in the hopper. This co this combine had a, um, a camera on it when, when uh, my dad and I got it. And the camera is actually up on top of the corner of the hopper. And that lets you get a better, that lets you see better for your level coming up. Because where the bin, bin beeper indicator is, when the grain hits that, you can go a little bit farther beyond that. And having that camera, it's, a, it's actually called a cab cam. But with that camera up there, it lets you see how close you are to running over. So it works pretty nice. Like I say, that was on the combine when we bought it in 2018. So I just want to say a quick hello to all my new subscribers. I've seen I've seen several have jumped on here over the past couple weeks. So just want to say thank you for that. And I'll just go ahead and tell you, unless you read in the description on my channel that um, as you have, have probably already seen my videos are unedited and so I record the video and post it so my videos are about as in real time as you can get works pretty good that way I will say one one uh, subscriber. The channel name got gave me a good laugh. I thought I thought it was pretty funny. In fact, I think I saw it flash up just yesterday. And yep, that right there—that's my bin level indicator going off. 
my hopper's hopper's getting full. But with that camera, I can keep an eye on it. But anyway, back to one of my subscribers. The channel name was Atomic Wedgie 81. I think that's pretty funny, so. <laughs> I got a good laugh out of that one. That's hilarious. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for the good laugh. I, I, I enjoyed that one. But like I said before, if you're looking for channels that have all the fancy schmancy editing and all that, you're not gonna find it on my channel. And you're also not gonna find all the daily drama and clickbait either. Like one guy I could name. Almost every video I've ever seen of him is nothing but drama, clickbait, and it's like he has no idea what he's going to do that day unless he asks his unless his YouTube subscribers tell him. Kind of pathetic, I think. And yes, he's a farmer, unfortunately. That's why I'm not even going to say what say what his channel is. If you do some thinking, you just might know who it is, but I could care less. But like I say. You're not gonna find that here, straight to the point. What you see is what you get. And as you can see right there, it's coming right up close to the top of the hopper, so I think I'm gonna be able to make it. I'm just going to pull right up here, then back up, kick my auger out, and unload. Not too sure how well you can see out that mirror there, but right back there is the tractor with the grain cart. The good old trusty 4840. For anybody wondering, that's a Kilbro 1600 cart, so it's an 800 bushel. With this long head on this thing, I just got to watch don't come up and smack the tire with the end of the head. Back when we bought this machine, I actually took the auger, the unload auger, the whole thing clear off the combine, took it down to a machine shop, and I had them add to the flighting and to the tube, I had them add a foot and a half. That way um, uh, it would get on out there and I'd have more clearance. With this, with this machine running on the bean head, um, if we do have a cart driver, and if we're running in a big field, what I'll do is I'll stop, and he'll come up, I'll unload, then I'll go on. But because it runs pretty close to the end of the head, we do, we do not unload on the go. I have um, unloaded on the go, but... Um, if we do that, generally my brother is run, running the combine, I'm running the cart. Because when you're running, it works best to have the end of the bean head between the cart tire and the dual on the tractor. 
that way you have a little bit more room there that way there's no chance of smacking something you sure don't want that and there's the beans going down the hopper don't look too bad not too sure how we can see through that screen covering that window it's kind of hard to see through so once i get done with this field right here i'll be moving across that ditch and going to that bigger field on the other side there's about uh, 45 to 50 acres right there Okay, well, hey, tank's empty. So, well, tell you what, I think I'm going to call that an end of this video. So take care. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.